Hey what's going on everyone this is Ariviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really useful iOS 14 tips and tricks that will help you keep your iPhone running like new. Tips that will improve the networking and signal of your iPhone as well as speed, performance, battery and all that stuff. So let's get started with the first section and we are talking about network and cellular coverage. All right, so if you have like bad reception on your device, your Bluetooth connectivity is not that good, you're having problems with that, the first thing I suggest you do is go ahead and go to settings and go to privacy. Once you go to privacy here, go to location services and then go to system services. Now what you need to do right here is go ahead and find here networking and wireless. You can see if you go ahead and disable this, it will say that turning this off will basically like affect Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and networking. Now what you want to do is turn this off and just keep it like that for like 10 or 15 seconds and then go ahead and turn it back on as well. This will reset of course those and of course it should fix a lot of problems that you might have with your network as well as your Bluetooth. The next thing you should do if you have problems with your cellular network, so let's say you're on a place where the cellular coverage is not that good and your cellular data is slow. What you should do is go ahead and enable low data mode. That can be found under the cellular section on the settings app. That will reduce the amount of data that apps need to work. Of course, that way they will work much, much faster. And always make sure you go ahead and check which apps are using the cellular data on your iPhone. So let's say you have like bad coverage and the cellular data is not that fast, then all these apps using the cellular data maybe in the background won't help of course. So go ahead and choose which apps you want to enable cellular data for and then only those will be able to use cellular data. Now of course it is always recommended that you go ahead and update to the latest iOS version. It's always good to do that of course every time there are updates, bug fixes, modem updates and all that so make sure you keep your device updated. And if nothing works then go ahead and try resetting your network settings. So go ahead, go to settings, go to general, go to reset and here we'll have network settings, try resetting those. Now if your SIM card is old then what you should try is also go ahead and change the SIM card to a newer one. It might be damaged if it has some lines or something, it might be damaged so that might be the problem for your cellular coverage so go ahead and change that as well. Next up we're talking about speed. Now when talking about speed what we need to do if we're having problems with our devices being slow or something like that is of course turn off things that will consume CPU power in the background mostly but we don't actually need them all the time. Like for example screen time. If you don't need screen time then go ahead and just turn it off. You go to settings, go to screen time and turn it off right here. You can also enable reduce motion which can be found under accessibility motion and you will have here reduce motion you turn this on and it will basically just remove all the different animations of iOS. Now with the release of iOS 14 of course we have home screen widgets. Now these widgets of course will consume CPU power as they need to be updated and all that stuff so always make sure that you check which widgets you're using on the home screen and just go ahead and remove those that you don't really need. Don't just keep widgets there just to keep them. Make sure you only use those that you need. Also make sure you check the widgets panel here because sometimes people just forget that they have widgets there and might have a ton of different even the old ones and of course they will consume CPU power as well and might slow down your device. Now if you're having speed problems while browsing the internet then you need to go ahead and clear the Safari website data and history. So you go to settings, go to Safari. Now here are two different options. If you don't want to clear the history, you just want to clear the website data then you can scroll all the way down, go to advanced and go to website data and you will see here a full list of all the apps that have used your basically have actually added data to your device and of course they are saved here and you can just go ahead and delete any of them from here. Or if you want to completely remove all the data and all the history you go back and you will have an option here to clear all the website data and history from your device. When having speed problems on your device it is also recommended that you clear the RAM memory. Now there is a very neat trick to do that. You can see here I have an app which will actually monitor the RAM memory of the device. You can see the free RAM memory right there 235 at the moment. Now the trick is this. You go ahead, open the camera app, 
and then just go ahead and close the app go back there you can see how much free space we will have now so just like that opening and closing the camera app it will free up a ton of space on the ram memory of your device and of course it is recommended that every time and now and then you go ahead and reboot your device maybe every two or three days you do a hard reboot of your device that of course will keep it running way way better now of course other things that you also can do to make sure that your device will perform really really good and one of them is not closing apps from the app switcher now this is also confirmed by apple closing apps from the app switcher won't help anything it will just make things worse now if you have an app here i have settings i can go to settings go out of it and i have the app there loaded waiting in the background anytime i need it i go ahead open it the app is ready to go now what this will do if you go ahead and just close the apps it will make your device go ahead and launch the app from the beginning that way it will consume more cpu power as well as more battery so of course if you have an app that you just open every once in a few days you can close that but for apps that you use daily and you use like a few times a day make sure you keep them open in the background now something else that will consume a ton of cpu power is background app refresh so you go to general go to background app refresh and here's a full list of the apps that will refresh in the background of course most of them you don't need to you can go ahead and just turn them off so for any app that you don't need to have background app refresh turned on you can go ahead and just simply turn them off from here now at the top you will also have an option to completely turn off background app refresh for all the apps but you don't want to do that of course there are some apps that you might want to have them refreshing in the background so go ahead check the list and turn off as much as you can now when it comes to performance and speed storage also plays a big role you need to, to have as much free storage as possible on your device so go to settings go to iphone go to iphone storage here and you will see a list here of apps that are using more storage on your device you can go ahead and just delete those that you don't need or if you have an app like this one for example here I have viber and you can see the app size is 166 megabytes but it has one gig of data now what i suggest you do in this case is go ahead and delete the app and then go ahead and reinstall the app again that way of course it will clear all the cached files that this app has and also of course go ahead and check your photos delete any videos that you might have shot on your iphone that you don't don't really need and make sure you also go ahead and clear the recently deleted album Another thing that might have an impact on the performance of your iPhone are automatic downloads. So when you go to settings and you go to the new app store section, you will find here automatic downloads for apps and apps updates. Now, if you have an older device that of course doesn't perform that good and you have these turned on, then basically you will be doing something on your device and you will have apps and basically updates downloading automatically in the background. Of course, you don't wanna have that. You wanna have these turned off so you will update them when you need them. And of course, when you're not doing something else like maybe more important on your device. So make sure you go to settings, go to app store and disable apps and apps updates under automatic downloads very important to the performance of your device is of course battery life if you have a bad battery it has bad health then your device won't perform good of course you can check that by going into battery and go to battery health and you can see the percentage right there now as long as it says peak performance capacity that means that it's good to go it won't affect that much the performance of your device but if that doesn't say like that then you will notice a huge decrease on the performance of your device now what you should do is just use a few simple tips and tricks that basically will help you preserve battery life and that way you don't have to charge it that much that way of course it will keep your battery healthier now what you need to do is as much as possible use dark mode if you have a device with an oled display you can see all these like black spots spots right here all those are pixels that are turned off that way it consume way less battery also use auto brightness always do that go to settings go to accessibility go to display and text size and use auto brightness here of course i have it turned off here because i have to shoot the video but just make sure you always use auto brightness because 
it helps a lot. Then go back and go ahead and just turn off a few things that you might not even use. For example, under accessibility, go ahead and turn off voice control if you have it turned on. It's a cool feature and all that, but it will just be active all the time. And of course, if you don't need it, then just go ahead and completely turn it off. There are a few other things that you can turn off that you might not even need. For example, under accessibility, you will find here sound recognition. So if you're not using sound recognition, you don't need it for anything, then make sure you go ahead and turn this off. Now, all these processes that are happening in the background will consume CPU power as well as battery life. So you don't want to have that. So make sure you just go ahead and turn off everything that you need. Also under Siri, you will find always listen for hey siri now what this does is that it will keep listening for hey siri even though your device might be face down or in your pocket that of course consumes a ton of battery so you don't want to have that make sure you go ahead go to, to your settings go to accessibility go to siri here and turn that part off right there of course you need also to manage your notifications if you want to preserve battery life always make sure that you don't, don't turn on notifications for every app. Make sure you go ahead and check this list right here and see which apps are really important and for which you actually need notifications to be turned on and make sure you go ahead and disable the other ones, which is of course very, very important. Another thing that of course Apple has done, which is really great, is optimized battery charging. Now for the long run, for the long health of the battery of your iPhone, you need to go ahead and go to your settings, go to battery, and go to battery health and make sure you always have optimized battery charging turned on. This will help a lot on the lifespan of the battery of your iPhone. So make, make sure you always have this turned on. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are a few tips and tricks that I believe everyone should follow if you want your device on iOS 14 to be running like new. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this is helpful. Make sure you go ahead, leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys on the next one.